Number 10, identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and then the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this one right here. So we have HS minus plus H2O yields H2S plus OH minus, and we have to find out these four things. Now the easiest way to do this is you got to pick the pairs first. Now I like to go from left to right, so I'm just going to pick the HS first. So I say to myself, okay, which, uh, you know, which molecule on the product side looks very similar to HS? Yeah, it's H2S, right? Sulfur goes with sulfur. So these two will go together. And then on the flip side, the other pair should make sense. H2O, so just hydrogen and oxygen, go with OH, which is just hydrogen and oxygen. So that goes together. The second thing to do is always to just get the word conjugate out of the way. Conjugate just means other or corresponding and it's what you make from your acid and base. So the word conjugate is always going to be on the product side. So I can just get rid of that. This has to be a conjugate. This has to be a conjugate. I don't know whether it's a acid or base, but I know that it has to be a conjugate. And for Bronsted-Lowry, the Bronsted-Lowry acids or bases, that's what you are reacting with. So HS minus has to be a Bronsted-Lowry, I'll put BL acid or base, and then H2O has to be a Bronsted-Lowry acid or base. Now we're going to figure out which one is actually the acid or which one is the base. Now pick a pair. Does not matter which pair you pick. I guess I'll pick the HS minus with the H2S. And remember this, guys, right? Acids always have one more hydrogen than the bases, the corresponding base, the conjugate base, and then likewise, the bases will always have one less hydrogen. So acids, one more, base, one less. So all you got to do is look at those hydrogens. In HS minus, you got one hydrogen. In H2S, you got two hydrogens. So I got one more here. The acid always has one more. So this has to be the acid of the pair. And then likewise, this has to be the base of the pair. You do the same thing for the other pair. So H2O is now going to go with OH minus. With H2O, you got two hydrogens. With OH minus, you got one hydrogen. The acid always has one more. So H2O will be the acid. And OH minus will be the base. And notice how on both sides, you're only allowed one acid and one base. So if you do this on a test or quiz and you get like two bases on one side or two acids on one side, just stop and go back. That's like a, a little trick and, you know, a good check to see if you're doing it correctly. But that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Um, I really hope this is helping you out. So just let us know. Just makes, you know, just makes sure that I'm doing my job right here. Thank you so much. Tell your friends. Tell your classmates. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.